Um, when to begin, I normally, you know, if, it's, if, if you're writing a, um, a case report, then it's probably quicker to write than you're writing, you know, your, your research um, publication, which you may need to, you know, may take up to three months to write. What to include, that's, that's also been discussed before in the MRAD criteria. And who to include, it's very important, as has been stressed before, to stress the authors. Um, especially if you're doing multinational trials and multi-center trials, then there will be conflicts of who wants to be first author, who is last author, who is in the middle, and you really need to sort that out at the beginning. Um, don't wait until you've written the paper, done all the work, and then you have all the conflicts. Referencing your paper, um, I use Reference Manager, EndNote is another thing you can use, and a lot of the institutions will have um, copies so you can actually use it. But it is very useful because I think in the past where you have to be you know, five or ten references and every time you change your paper, if you don't have Reference Manager, you have to go change the order of the references, and, but Reference Manager does all that for you, so it's very useful to have that. Once you've sent the paper, uh, sorry, before you send the paper, you may want to correct it. Um, so you give it to your supervisor or your other colleagues and you actually read it. They correct it, they come back to you. You may have to go through seven revisions or eight revisions before it's actually sent. Um, and you need to correct you know, the grammar, the English, the punctuation. There's a lot of things that need to be corrected. Once you send your article, you need to know where you're going to send your article, how to send it in the past. You know, it's all going to, it was going to be printed and you have to have um, everything by mail or by fax. Now everything is electronic and you can send it online. What do you want to send with it? The, you need to send with it the copyright, you know, the copyright, the declaration, the conflicts of interest. You need to know all these before you send the paper because it could easily get rejected because you haven't sent all the relevant documents and signatures. Waiting for a reply may take time. It's best to correct as the uh, reviewer instructions. However, sometimes you may not be happy with the reviewer instructions and there is no reason why you can't write back and say this is the reason why we think it should be done this way uh, but you know, we agree with your comments but you know, I think we can you know, just send it to them and see what their reply because if they don't like your answer they will reply back and say no we want it this way. And if it's rejected don't, re don't be put off. You know, if it's rejected send it somewhere else. But at least use the comments that you've had from the reviewers to correct your article so that if you send it anywhere else then it can, um, has a better chance of being accepted. Um, some of the mistakes really that um, you know, I've come across um, during the time I've been writing is you know, not sticking to the word count. You know, if they say 3,000 words, stick to 3,000 words. There are ways of reducing the word count such as putting hyphens between the words. You know, daytime rather than writing day and time, you can put a hyphen between day and time. Um, references, make sure you have the correct number of references, they're written in the correct order. Use figures, tables, and pictures, make sure whether they see whether they want it in black and white or in colored. Um, make sure that in some journals will charge if you want um, a colored figure, so uh, be sure that um, you're doing the right thing. And the title page has been covered already. Check the spelling and the grammar, very important. Make sure it's whether it's American or English and make sure you adjust that on, on your Word document. And make sure you get the permissions and copyright. So the, really some tips is you just have to plan. You need to plan, plan, and plan. Because if you don't plan it, it will go into pieces. And you need time for it. So be patient and realistic. You know, ask your colleagues who have previously published um, how to publish a paper, what to write on. Read the previous papers on the topic. Obtain all the necessary signatures that you need to. Attend courses and workshops like this. Other workshops and courses that are useful are ECDL, which is a European Computer Driving License. It gets you how to write, you know, um, use PowerPoint, use um, uh, Word, use all these documents. It's quite useful to get onto it. And statistics courses, because then you can, um, uh, you know, liaise with the statistician. And, and, and work on the stats yourself if it's taking time with the statistician and anticipate any hurdles. And most important of all, really enjoy it. And I mean, in five years, doing two years of research and um, you know, three years of SPR training, you know, you'd expect to get you know, quite a few if you're actually enjoying it and, 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 and having fun. 
So in conclusion, really develop your own writing style because writing is an art. You need to practice, you need to practice it. And I'll leave you with these uh, words of wisdom. Necessity is the mother of invention. At, at the time I was applying for my SPRs, you had to have SPR numbers, you had to have papers because that's what you know, everyone was judged by how many papers they've had, what they've published. So you, know, you, need, to be, um, you need to invent and write papers. Um, and it really starts with um, um, a single step. Beggars can't be choosers. Initially, when, whatever paper you get asked to write, just write it. Um, but I think the more you write papers, then you can be the chooser and the journals will be the beggars. They will be asking you to write papers. And practice makes perfect. Thank you very much. Um, thanks very much, Hashim. I think that just uh, hit the spot very well, very beautifully. And uh, I think uh, it's exactly what I, I hoped you would, you would say. You. It shows that it really does take uh, a lot of preparation. That's not a simple thing. And, and believe me, nobody finds it an easy thing. So there's, there's no question about that. Two points to anonymity. Uh, uh, anonymity, anonymous review, uh, is tried by some journals. But it has been shown that actually it really doesn't make any particular difference. Uh, yeah, challenging the reviewers is an interesting one. Um, because that's a risky business. It's like uh, if you, um, you know, you get uh, a sentence and you appeal the sentence, the chances are that they'll double the sentence if they find that you're still guilty. And so it's quite likely that if you do take on the reviewer and they feel, well, hey, they'll just say reject the paper. But I take your point and I actually agree with it. But you have to be absolutely yeah. sure because, you know, you don't know who the reviewer is. And uh, you find yourself, usually the reviewer, I can tell you that the reviewers for, for the VJUI are top in their field. Questions for Hashim, for anybody?